Hello and welcome to City Skylines and the town of Doverton. I will be your Mayor David. And today we're going to be picking up from where we left off last time. We just managed to upgrade ourselves, we we'll hit the milestone of busy town. But we've got a few new things that we can place into our city. Some policies, and we've got some new services too. So we'll go about adding those in. We also worked out last time that we need to just put another elementary school in, as our current one has reached pretty much capacity. As it, as it currently is. There we go, yep. Only got two room for two shield kids in there. We're also going to try and expand our town to try and reach up to the next couple of education milestones. To do that, I think we're going to also expand the motorway network. We're going to get up around here a bit and improve our city entrance. And this is only a temporary fix at the moment. Anyway, with all that in mind, let's get started. First things first, I'm going to sort out the entrance down here. So we'll just get rid of these temporary bits of road. And as we unlock highways in the last one, That's a bit better, we've got there eventually. Now we just need the motorway slip roads. Okay, there we go, there's our intersection. I've set it up with dedicated turning lanes over here and a few of these But these ones, I've only got dedicated turning lanes when it's crossing the other lane's traffic. And hopefully you can just go to turn down here pretty easily. I've connected this end, this side of the intersection into this junction down here, because I didn't want to have too many too close, otherwise traffic would get really difficult. And then I thought I'd just plug that one into that, that intersection there. But there, that, that should have that sorted quite nicely. And we'll just extend the motorway down over this way a little bit. Okay. Just trying to think about where I want this motorway to go. I did have the idea that it would come around this way and then join back on over here and then we could have it go over and then feed down to the front. So I want the front to be quite heavily developed. But I'm not sure if it would fit through this gap here or if I just want to keep running it all the way up here and just maybe join back on to this junction up here and have it so we have like a ring row sort of circulating this area and then we could have another on feeding up. Possibly thinking I would come up here and then I'll adjust it so instead of this motorway coming down over here, it would feed, this one would feed through uninterrupted underneath here and then this one would come over and down over here. In doing so I'd have another another roundabout here and have a road coming over here and we would have an intersection connecting so we could have a couple of different entrances into this area. I will see what I want to do with that one. what I can do is I'm going to just develop over this way a little bit more down put another another row of housing in down here
another left foot path then we're going to continue with some expansion. I think I am going to have the motorway come up this way. And the other thing that I want to try and achieve for the future is to have a train station in this area down here. Just so we have a train line going down. So I want to have like a main say, develop down the front. So I want to have a train that can come up here and then through and up going this way through a couple of different of these different areas. So some some something will fit into this area here. I don't believe trains have been unlocked yet. No, not yet. What do we need for that? 12,000. So it's a long way ahead to think about at the moment, as we're only at 2,000. But we'll leave this area blank here. And I'm just going to continue this motorway up so we can start seeing where things are going to have to start fitting in. Okay, I've run out of money, so there's not much more I can do as I go this way. I'm also running out of um, space. I'd like to start buying some more of these tiles up soon. But I've got this in. I've tried to level it up and have not too many steep angles going on. And with that, we will just continue with expanding this area for a little bit. While it waits, I'm just going to sort out the traffic management on this section through here. And we need more windmills again. I'm using up a lot more a lot more of these than I was expecting when I started off. I am going to do is extend this road, but we've had enough of being overly gritty, so we're going to have a bit of a a bit of a wiggle going on down here. And I'm going to buy the next tile now. I think it will really help with just connecting everything up. So we're going to take this one for now. I do know we have we can buy another one, but we'll save that for a bit longer, for a bit later. We can continue our freeway building.
just taking this opportunity while I'm doing the general expansion to increase my water and wastewater um, processing. I think it was getting near to its limit anyway. And while we're here, we'll also pop in some more recycling centres. As we can, as I've been seeing, lots of the waste piling up waste symbols. So we'll pop another one of these in down here. Um, we'll probably move it down to this end in just a moment because this just to try and spread them all out so they're not all coming from the same Okay, we've just set up a second motorway entrance down here. Done all the um, lane management and reducing the lane over here. Looks like it's a bit kinky going up there, but I'll just see if I can use a bit of the um, smooth out function and move it. Lovely. Yep, I forgot to add in our services that we unlocked, didn't I? So we've got to put in a. Um, we need a cemetery. It's not going to fit there. No. Yeah, we'll put a cemetery in down the end here. There we go. I should hope you. What else did I? Put? Oh, is the elementary school? I've got that one in. High school is still looking good. Library, never one of those in. Might as well. Mm. Maybe in our next. Well, actually, no, we'll put one in over here somewhere. Pop it in. Unfortunately, it's going to be evicting a lot of people to do it, but. It's all for the children. All for the children. Got a few parks. A nice park down by the cemetery. Give you a nice place to sit and contemplate after visiting. Okay, I think that's most things now put in. Oh, we've got the child care and elder care. Elder care. It's not going to fit in down there. We'll put those in later on. But yeah, so we put the motorway entrance in down here, and we've got the connection coming over here. So I thought this could go up over this way. And then this is going to be sort of plunging into this, into sort of some industry over here, more sort of agricultural or forestry sort of stuff. And then over here we'll put another load of housing in. And I was thinking about putting some sort of things in here, but I thought this might be a bit of a park got down to the water and stuff. And we've got over here. So this might become a park, and then over here might be a commercial and a second sort of residential area. So we'll start off by putting in this park in. We've not done a park yet. So we'll start off by just drawing in the area down here. We'll just do everything inside here. Not necessarily the biggest park, but it'll keep people happy. do actually is so I'll extend it underneath here and over here so these people can get nice easy access to the park a bit more water frontage protecting up a nice river front area look 
Look at this pocket, this one's no longer required. Sorry everyone. And let's start filling it in. But we'll go for a nature reserve. We're going to try and keep it a bit rugged and barren, sort of in here. Enjoy it for its nature area. We only need a big entrance to it. Get rid of that one actually. I like these main gates for. We'll pop it on the road over here. People can drive through and stop off. We'll put a side entrance in down over here. Another one down over there. We'll start off just by connecting up from over here with a nice little path that will go along the waterfront around the rocks, we'll protect the rocks this time rocks are nice things for nature parks, so it makes sense there we go, and while we're at it we'll just drop this one will come in down the hill Campfire site. A few little campfires along by the water would be lovely. Come down in the evening, bit of fishing, bit of bit of a campfire. Lovely. Okay, so it's all fenced in now. We just need to connect up the last of these um that's the footpaths. It's a bit of a steep foot past that one. Be a bit more for the advanced people, and let's make it a bit steeper, a bit lower. But if you wanted the easy walk, you can come up this way. That bit's also too high. But that looks a bit better. That's a much easier walk down. Nice. Let's put in the rest of our things. There we go. Nice. We have a nice little nature reserve popped in. Just sort out some water pipes. Check our nature reserve parking park info. <clears throat> okay. Entertainment on the next. Yeah, we've got plenty of entertainment in here. We'll charge it right up. Making lots of money. We're already getting quite a few people in. We'll just rename it. 
Marsh seems quite nice, I think. So we go Florence, Florence Marsh. It's along the water edge. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice little area. Make people very happy. So we can now start on the next area of residential, but that's what we appear to need most of the moment. Oh, lots of people not happy down here. No one to buy products. And not enough workers. Yep, we just need lots of people now. So we'll pause that. As it's not making people happy having it running. And we will start off putting in another area along here. I'm going to try and curve this residential area so it sort of matches the curve of this road going around here. We leave a little gap in between as we can put a footpath through there to maybe encourage a bit of walking around this area. I know there's ways you can do this with um, zoning, but what I'm going to do is just do the trick where I put footpaths up along the edge here to restrict zoning and try and get rid of these messy zoning areas. Now it's just time to start zoning. I know I have been avoiding using zones along this main road, but we're going to put a few in along here. We need to increase our areas of um, commercial, and this has got nice high traffic area, so lots of people, lots of customers to pass. Should be a good place to start your business. There we go. We have a couple coming up through the centre, and then this will be another one of the main roads. We'll put a few in along along this side. We're going to need some some services. So we're going to we've got child healthcare. This place better look after the children. Somebody think of the children. There we go. That one will pop in there. A bit of elder care. Mm, probably don't want to go on the main rows. Maybe we'll put them, down, put them in the end down. Down over here. There we go. It'll be a nice little quiet, quiet corner for them. Need to put another, another cemetery in, probably. Well, we wouldn't really expand it to it over there. And a clinic. That's if we come in we'll come in and pop one in on the main road down over here, it covers most of that area at the back of that lot over there. Firehouse here along here. It'll give them connection to the nice mice main road. Police station. They can come over here. Similarly, I think I'll put them in the back over here. They can be part of that residential area. Nice. Schools. 
Oh, I've used up all my money again. Better run pause, let things get get going. So we're gonna start popping in some of the residential areas that can start expanding. I suppose while we let it run I should be um sorting out all the um traffic management stuff that we need to have sorted. Okay, got enough money now for the elementary school to go in. Typical, as always, we need more electricity. Okay, busy town. Next milestone reached. We've got all specialization, uh, tourism, sightseeing bus, trolley bus, and lots of nice roads. And lots of nice things in here. Lovely. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I was hoping to get another level in, but it's been a long one already, this one. Anyway, until next time, stay safe. Bye.